Anybody who's ever worked in any level of live production will tell you that what I'm about to show you is probably their greatest nightmare imaginable. This is what happened at a recent Machine Head show when the entire show came to a halt because a fan threw a beer, which hit the soundboard and then shorted the entire thing out. And the show was unexpectedly halted for about 15 minutes and they were in total silence with the house lights on, the band standing up on stage seemingly wondering what the hell happened and everyone just sort of standing around like, what do we do now? And Machine Head posted a recap of just what happened on their Instagram. They wrote the following, London, last night was tough. First off, we want to thank every single person who attended last night's incredible show. Selling out Brixton Academy in eight hours was quite frankly mind-blowing. It was unfortunate that some asshole had to throw a full 32-ounce beer on our soundboard and completely take it out of commission during the Burn My Eyes set. Your patience and respect to us and each other during the whole 20-minute debacle was admirable, and we can't thank you enough. It did, however, compromise the rest of the show, and for that, we are incredibly sorry. You deserved better than that. And due to consequences beyond our control, we could not deliver that. Our awesome crew, and specifically our badass sound man, Steve Laguidi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, scrambled to reroute everything over to our monitor board, and as you all know, after a 20-minute break, we were miraculously able to finish the show. Had we not been so quick on our feet about what to do, the show likely could have never finished. Please give Steve a gigantic thank you in the comments below for saving the day. We're also incredibly thankful for the crew at O2 Academy for stepping up big time. Josh Rosen, the general manager of the Brixton, was incredible. He let us play a half hour over the extremely strict curfew, and all the venue security volunteered their time to allow us to finish the show. That's awesome. Out of respect for the band and our long 25-year history with the Brixton, it was beyond humbling. That is very, very cool that they uh, volunteered their time to make sure the show happened. Machine Head has been playing there for a number of years. They are massive in Europe. Of course, they're big in, in the United States too, but I would argue that they're probably larger uh, in Europe. The fans over there are absolutely amazing. And so it's very frustrating when some person throws a 32 ounce beer and then they're basically taking money out of everyone else's pockets who are there in the crowd that came to see a show and they're ruining it for everybody. And that's unfortunate that that happened to people who spent their hard earned money to go to that show and didn't get to see the full performance, but kudos to Machine Head for fighting through it. And again, their sound man for pulling off a miracle uh, an otherwise totally irredeemable uh, situation. That is horrifying to watch for anybody who deals with anything involving sound or computers or any anything in a live setting. That's terrifying. And I feel so bad for him that he was even able to remain conscious somehow during that ordeal. He was so calm as thousands of people looked at him and stared at him while he worked on this problem. So kudos to that guy. What an absolute legend. Anyways, that is all for now. Thanks so much for joining us here today at Rockfeed. If you're new here, you can check us out by subscribing with the notification button on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. We're also available in podcast form. You can check us out wherever podcasts are distributed. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you all very soon.